This is BTV. British Columbia is known as a friendly mining jurisdiction, blessed with rich resources. But there has not been a major metal mine open here for a long time. Now a company called Copper Mountain Mining is about to change all that and bring prosperity back to a small town, thanks in part to an agreement with a major Japanese corporation. Welcome to the Copper Mountain Project. My name is uh, Jim O'Rourke. I'm uh, one of the early investors in the company as well as president of Copper Mountain Mining Corporation. This project involves the uh, exploration and development of a previously operated mine, which we purchased in December 2006. Copper Mountain's mining project is an open-pit porphyry copper mine just outside Princeton, British Columbia, which operated from 1972 to 1996 and over its life produced 1.74 billion pounds of copper, 9.1 million ounces of silver, and 730,000 ounces of gold. After three years of hard work, and despite difficult economic times, Jim O'Rourke and his team have taken major strides forward. On July 30th, Copper Mountain and Mitsubishi Materials Corp. signed an agreement. Mitsubishi will acquire a 25% interest in the project for $28.75 million. In addition, Mitsubishi will arrange a $250 million project loan and purchase all the copper concentrate from the mine. And having uh, Mitsubishi Material join us as, uh, as a partner and uh, taking the responsibility for arranging the financing, this is a, a very major step for the company. The Mitsubishi deal was very important to us as it provided the long-term concentrate offtake agreement and provided uh, long-term debt financing as well as a very strong financial partner. They're buying 25% of the project for $28.75 million and they're buying at the project level. If we did an equivalent financing in Copper Mountain at the current market price, it would be about $3.65 a share. So, where we're trading today, you can see that it's significantly less dilution. Well, it's a very important agreement that was reached today between Copper Mountain and, and Mitsubishi. Uh, this helps inject a significant uh, economic life into a major project in BC, a major copper mine. Uh, it is most likely the next major mine to be built in this province and the first in, in some 15 years. Opening mines is not an easy thing, particularly big mines. Big investment big environmental hurdles, aboriginal hurdles, community concerns, big problems opening big metal mines. So it's great that this one is coming together. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a full go. Uh, it's got all of the financing in place. This is a, a very good day for British Columbia. And it shows, uh, I think, uh, it signals that there's a lot of confidence in not just the economy in British Columbia and the government of British Columbia, but uh, a lot of confidence from offshore that uh, mining in British Columbia has a great future here. With financing secured, construction has begun. Detailed engineering is progressing, and site geotechnical excavation for the concentrator is now complete. The office and warehouse complex are now fully functional, and the sag and ball mill manufacturing are well underway. Everything is on track to achieve the target production startup in mid-2011. Our immediate objective is to focus on uh, mine here and uh, develop it into uh, operating mine that would produce in the order of 100 million pounds of copper per year plus gold and silver credits. As well, there is uh, the potential for some blue sky in that uh, we will be uh, testing the uh, deep-seated porphyry uh, underground later this fall. The resource estimate incorporates data from over 4,400 historical drill holes and 307 new drill holes from the company's 2007 and 2008 exploration programs. We began with resources of 100 million tons uh, when we took over the property and uh, we've expanded that uh, fivefold now 
And uh, most of that uh, success has come uh, from in and around the previous mineralization, but we have uh, discovered some new zones of mineralization and are uh, uh, currently developing uh, more reserves all the time. The current resource is estimated at 5 billion pounds of copper and at a 0.15% copper cutoff. This property has excellent exploration potential. We have a three-phase or a three-pronged approach to exploration here. The first prong is to drill the areas of known resources, which would be in the open pit areas and between the open pits, areas that we call the saddle zone. The second prong is to drill test additional mineralized areas that are outside of the uh, current pit areas. And then the third prong is to test for the deep underground mineralization that we know exists in a number of locations. The super pit concept is to put a large pit around or incorporating the three uh, current pits that are on the property. Over the 17 year life of the project, it is estimated that the mine will produce almost 1.5 billion pounds of copper, 450,000 ounces of gold, and 4.5 million ounces of silver. Our cash costs. A uh, net of precious metals are just a little over a dollar per pound of copper. And uh, if you include the uh, financing costs to put it into production, the cost will be in the order of a dollar thirty per pound of copper. That's U.S. And uh, at today's price of two dollars and eighty cents per pound of copper gives us a substantial margin. Our long-term forecasts have been based on a dollar eighty per pound of copper. So we have a a good margin to uh, move forward with. Key to, to, to the production of, uh, of this project is the uh, pit optimization. And by optimizing the pit and pulling the high grade earlier, it, it really enhances the economics. It is estimated that the project will provide employment for 200 construction workers, and the ongoing operations will create 274 full-time positions. That's good news for the people of Princeton, who are struggling with a landscape devastated by the pine beetle and a downturn in the forest industry. The significance is, is, is to the people. You know, when you consider schools that will have young, young uh, people added to them as a result of young uh, workers coming to the uh, area and working in the mine. Uh, it, it really rejuvenates the whole community. Copper Mountain Mining looks to have all the ingredients for success. From, from our perspective, the, the project's very unique. We're in a very mining friendly province, so it's low political risk. Uh, we've got low technical risk as it's a past producer. Uh, the uh, capital risk is low in terms of location. Uh, you can drive your car right to site. Uh, financial risk is now low because we've uh, signed the deal with Mitsubishi on board. And uh, management is very experienced, so uh, execution risk, I think, is low. We still have a number of things to do, uh, we, uh, but we're on track. We have a schedule. We have everything in place. We have the people. and. Uh, we're going to meet our objectives. <laughs> Currently, the company is raising funds to further the development of the Copper Mountain Project. You can find out more information by visiting their website. They're at www.cumtn.com.